Hello my fellow movie lovers. So today's review is compiling a list in which order you should be watching the MCU films. Now, I've given you enough time, like I'm gonna give you enough time to gather your thoughts, to plan your weekends or your evenings accordingly in order to be prepared for the end game. First on the list is Captain America, the first Avenger, which is one of my favorite Avengers, first of all, but also one of my favorite films um, for Marvel. Um, quite enjoyed this one. I think Chris Evans did a great job in the transformation of it, swiftly leading into Captain Marvel, which is one of the, like, the last one to be released, but if this is the order that you should watch it in. Then what kind of started it all for me was Iron Man 1, which, God, I really love that film. I've watched it so many times. And then you watch Iron Man 2, then you watch The Incredible Hulk, and then you watch Thor, which, oh my god, really fell in love with Chris Hemsworth in this. <laughs> More! Which leads on to Avengers, which, oh my god, I think I've watched probably a million times. Absolutely love that. They all come together for the first time. It's an epic, epic film, an epic battle. And the next instalment from that is Iron Man 3, which is a bit of a war. Um, so you can kind of like passively watch that if you want. Leading back to Thor, The Dark World, which was well, another. I think they were going through a bit of a war moment. But yeah, you have to. It's just part of the, you have to watch it, okay? Just, we'll get there. Then Avengers is back on form with Captain America, the Winter Soldier, which is just brilliant and it gave me so much excitement and a lot of the other characters that were in the background kind of like raised their game as well. And then the absolute shockers out of the, the whole MCU Marvel films, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my god. Absolutely love volume one. Brilliant. They had all the elements perfectly lined up and executed loved it which led on to god is galaxy 2 which for me mm, you guys know i have my reservations about the baddie in this but it's part of the formula we have to watch it persevere guys then it led on to avengers age of ultron which was another blah moment and and I can't even tell you the next one is totally up to you which is Ant-Man it just jarred me I don't know why it just jarred me like there's no ratings for Ant-Man I'm so sorry which then led back to Captain America Civil War which is quite a little bit crazy I mean it was the introduction of Black Panther so it was like woo -woo. um but I don't know how I felt about this one it was just a bit like we're family, why are we fighting? Then to reintroduce Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, which is a lovely film, a lovely little watch. Then on to Doctor Strange, which I was not a fan of, um, but he upped his game in Avengers, so I'll allow him um, there, but I was just not a fan of Doctor Strange. And then to Black Panther, that raised the game a bit. Um, absolutely love that. Black Panther completely exceeded anyone's expectations and smashed all box office um, records. You should watch Thor, Ragnarok, which I just wasn't a fan of. And I know I'm probably like, not part of the majority here, but I just yeah, I just thought it was all a bit uh, like the sister. Yeah, it just got a bit messy for me. And then you're supposed to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'll leave that there. Then we're back with Avengers Infinity War, which was everything and more that we could have asked for from Marvel. And we thank you, we are forever in your debt. Thank you for destroying my heart and soul. So I hope the order of the MCU movies helped you get prepared to watch Avengers Endgame on April 26th, because I sure will be ready. Um, look forward to it. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Until next time.